They're back again. Mm. So there's this kind of like YouTube channel called something about it's gone viral or something. And then they got some little mini series called Hash It Out. Now, the reason why I was looking for this video, well, went on to this YouTube channel called It's Gone Viral and looking for this series, if I want to call it, called Hash It Out, where people with different opposing opinions go head to head and debate and that is because basically there's a guy called Samuel Lees, white guy from the UK. He's like multi a millionaire, multi hundred thousand property owner and that. He was having a debate with one girl and she was saying, oh, landlords are evil. Landlords shouldn't own more than two properties. And it's some bullshit, some broke people language, broke people talk and that, innit? So I was looking for that video because that was an important video. I want to fucking do a reaction video to it. But I don't think it's out yet. So when it is, I'm going to be the first on it. I don't even subscribe to other YouTube channels. I subscribe to that channel so I can get the notification. So then I came across this video. I saw like a 10 second segment of it where the girl was talking about rent and not being able to afford properties and that's I thought, you know what, it might be a good video to react to. So I ain't seen this part from a 10 second clip. Uh, right, let's get into it. So apparently it's the old school generation versus the new school generation, which is basically my generation. Let's go. You need to get rid of the royal family. It's outdated and unnecessary. I agree. I agree. Oh. <laughs> Right. Here we are. Yeah, thank you. Young people face harder challenges than previous generations. It is now a lot harder to buy a house. It's now a lot harder to secure a job. What do you do? Are you renting? Do you have a mortgage? Right, she's saying that it's a lot harder for young people nowadays than it was for her age and that. There's pros and cons to living in this time. There's pros and cons to living in that time. Yeah, back in the day, it was easier to secure mortgages and that. My girl told me that, like, the threshold was so low. When she was in her training course and that, her, to become a mortgage broker and that, the threshold was so low. Like, I even remember hearing people say that you could get 120%, 125% mortgage. So let's say, for example, the property that you want to buy is 100 grand. The bank would give you 100 grand plus 25% of that, 100 grand, which is 25 grand. The bank would give you 125 grand to, to buy that property. So you get 25% for free as an incentive to do out the property because the banks wanted to lend money out. So that obviously they got money coming in and that. Um, it, so the previous generation had it easy. I've heard rumors where you didn't even need to provide pay slips and that. You just told the bank, oh, um, I earn X amount and that's it. You sign on the dotted line and that, and that's it. They'll give you the money. Not in cash, obviously. They'll grant you the mortgage and whatever and that, innit? Yeah. I've heard some crazy stories and that. So it was easier for them to get hold of properties and that. But you know what? She's saying, ah, oh, it's difficult for us people and that. The, my generation, the young generation and that. It's not difficult. It's difficult in some aspects, but you know what? This is the best time to live, blood. We live in the era of social media. We live in an era where anybody can pick up their phone and become a fucking star. Not overnight, but basically overnight. Yeah, if your thing pops, you got people, you got chicks taking off their clothes and that and getting paid for it. Imagine, that's a big violation, a big disrespect to Lisa Ann, Lacey Duvall, Cherokee, Pinky, all of them prostitutes, sorry, porn stars back in the day that were really putting in work, really taking that wood for some idiot measly paycheck compared to what these girls are getting paid now. These girls aren't even getting involved and physically to that degree and they're getting paid some mad money. And they, these women out here were really grinding, yeah? <laughs> physically grinding for that, for that money and that. Anyone can become a star. Anyone has the opportunity to make something of themselves. Anyone has the opportunity to make a bit of money nowadays. You could just turn on your phone, turn on the camera on your phone and start filming. And if you catch, catch fire and, and you start booming in that, cool. You know what I'm saying? Isn't it? Back in the day, there weren't these opportunities and that. Back in the day, only a couple of people could have been the star actor and that. Now everyone can be the star of their own show. Everyone's got their own platform. There's a girl out here making dumb TikTok videos and getting paid thousands of pounds a month just to uh, dance on TikTok. You think you could do that back in the day? No way, man. So it's a lot easier now, man. Yeah, certain things are more difficult now, but it's a lot easier now. So I live with my parents. 
Right, let's go. Young people face harder challenges than previous generations. It is now a lot harder to buy a house. It's now a lot harder to secure a job. What do you do? Are you renting? Do you have a... I like the way she's dragging it out. It's a lot harder to buy a Mortgage. house. So... It's a lot harder to secure a job. She's trying to make it seem like it's more than what it is. Instead of it just being, yeah, it's harder to get a, a, a buy a house and, buy, and get a job. It's harder to buy a house and get a job. Instead of saying it like that, it's harder to get a house. It's harder to find a job. She's trying to make it more than what it really is. It's only two points you're making, but you're trying to make it seem like four or six. It's now a lot harder to buy a house. It's now a lot harder to secure a job. What do you do? Are you renting? Do you have a mortgage? So I live with my parents right. and I'm 23. Right. And you work? Yes. Yeah. Bachelor. And I bet you're driving a nice flashy fucking car, blood. I guarantee you this girl here is driving a car that's no older than three years. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I know she ain't driving no shit fucking Honda. Yeah, I promise you that. I know she ain't driving no fucking Toyota Yaris. She probably got a nice little, you get me, a little white Audi and that. Yeah, I, I know. So I don't feel sorry for you, the fact that you're still living at your parents' house, yeah, and you can't um, afford to buy a property and that. Because I don't know she ain't saving. You never know, she might prove me wrong, because I ain't see this, but I doubt she's saving. I promise you she's driving a nice car. I promise you she's got hardly any money in the bank. I might be wrong, but I'm Jay Wise, so I know more than likely I'm going to be right. And even if I'm wrong on this situation, there's thousands of examples out there. Some of you people watching this right now are in that situation, yeah? We are lucky that we can stay at home till we're 25, 30 years old. Back in the day, they would have laughed at you if you were still 25, 30, 35 years old, still living at home. My mum's generation, my mum's 52, my mum's generation, they were moving out by the time they were 16, 18, 21 years old. That was normal. You would have looked at, you would have been looked at as being a loser if you was from my mum's generation and still living at home as a 30 year old. So for example, my mum was born in, so let's say, yeah, in the late 80s, if you were still living at home as a 30 year old, 32 year old, they would have looked at you like you was a fucking loser. Now it's normal. Right, let me, at this rate, I ain't going to get nowhere with this fucking video. <laughs> Shit. Right, let's, 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 let's take it back a little bit. Young people face harder challenges than previous generations. It is now a lot harder to buy a house. It's now a lot harder to secure a job. What do you do? Are you renting? Do you have a mortgage? So I live with my parents right. and I'm 23. Right. And do you work? Yes. Yeah. But actually you're lucky then because you're still living at home and presumably you're not paying any rent or mortgage or anything. I am paying rent. When I first got my first house, it probably only cost about £23,000 or something, but then I was only earning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was twenty three grand back in the day, but the wages were fucking low. £300 a year, we worked hard. Right, she was paying 300, she was getting paid £300 a year. Fucking hell. If you're getting paid 300, how old is she? She like 200 years old, what the fuck, blood? If you're only getting paid £300 a year, that's like fucking £25 a month. The fuck was she doing? Standing out on the street as a lollipop lady or something like that. Who the fuck? Anyway, obviously back then, £300 a year. She's probably working a shit job, to be fair, anyway. But and yeah. we didn't have a car and we didn't have a colour telly. And I think people these days expect to have all those things yeah. as a right mm. when you haven't worked hard for them. I wouldn't say that we expect those things. So you're saying you can't afford rent, you can't afford to move out of home. So I have a car. You have a car, yeah. Increased. So you don't have to have a car, do you? You could get the bus. Exactly. But she want to fly down the road in style, blood, yeah? Okay, yeah, but th that's how I choose to spend my money. Exactly, but then you're saying that you don't have enough money because that's your choice as to what you spend your money on. You've got to make sacrifice, you've got to make cutbacks for the things that you really want and need. So if you need, if you really, see this is the thing, yeah? These kids, yeah, will moan that they can't afford to um, buy a property, they can't afford a mortgage and that. But they're living at their parents' house. Okay, they are contributing to the rent, but the, with that extra money that they got, they're spending it on an expensive car. I'm not saying that you must walk everywhere and that, but I guarantee you, she's not living humbly. She's not saying to herself, do you know what? 
I'm just gonna drive some little shitty Corsa that's gonna cost me a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred to buy it, and I'm gonna drive that around. No, she's probably financing a nice car, leasing a nice car, or probably spent ten grand, fifteen grand on a nice car. Don't feel sorry for these people. Good, go on, grandma. Go tell her blood clot. I I'm never gonna get through this video at this rate. Not for to move out of home. So I have a car. You have a car. Yeah. So you don't have to have a car. See them excuses there? Like I said, I know I'm not going to get through this video. Petrol prices have increased. Well, petrol prices didn't go up by that much. Like, it was like, it went up from like £1.30 per litre to £1.70 per litre. Yeah? It's not that much of a difference, yeah? Oh, do you? you could get the bus. Okay, yeah, but th that's how I choose to spend my money. Exactly, rent. but then you're saying that you don't have enough money because that's your choice as to what you spend your money on. Go on, Grandma. Tell her, look how As to what you see is necessary. Prices so you're telling me a car's necessary? Near. Of course it's necessary. Why? Because we live in an era where cars are necessary to get around. Why? Because we do. That's Why? She probably lives somewhere where there's great transport links, i.e. a five-minute walk down the road from her house. There's buses upon buses upon buses. Like, especially like, imagine like Edmonton as well. You could be in Edmonton, be at Edmonton Green Police Station and need to go to, to Tottenham. There's like four buses. 279, 259, 149 and 349. Yeah, that will all take you to Tottenham. Yeah? So it's not like there's that one bus that comes in the village at 8 in the morning, then the next bus that comes into the village is at 5 p.m. and that. No, there's plenty of buses in there. But this little stupid girl is going to argue with this older woman because she thinks she's right. What's the point? So what other alternatives are there then? Well, you're missing the point. We didn't but, have a car until... the world's until... evolved from, from then yes, to now. Yes, you can that manage can't... without a car. That's what yeah, I'm that's saying. Fair, that's I mean, fair. whether it's Ubers you get or whether it's a bus or the train, not that they're reliable these... No, nah, fuck, fuck Uber though, man. That's too expensive. These days, or but... affordable at all, like, in yeah. respect. But, but there, are, there are other alternatives, so you choose to have a car. Gen Z are lazy. They expect everything to be handed to them. Yep. I'm, I'm assuming the old school generation were hard fucking workers, yeah? Because I know my generation, they don't want to fucking work. They don't want to work. I have these kids hitting me up at 20 years old, whatever in it, yeah? And not all of them. Some of them are grand. I had a fucking 15-year-old telling me, yeah, man, I'm trying to make this amount of money. I'm like, yo, listen, yeah, it's cool, yeah, to be broke at 15, 16 years old. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, yeah? But it's a good mentality. So there are some youths out there that want to work and grind and that, but there's other youths that just want everything handed to them because they're lazy. But I guarantee the previous generation, like the older generation, I reckon they were hard workers. Yes, I think there's a sense of entitlement there that they expect to have to have things like cars, holidays, phones, a certain standard of living, which they haven't earned. We don't expect everything to be handed to us because we do everything and get absolutely nothing back. There'll be people who will go to university, they'll get a doctorate degree, they'll spend thousands and thousands of thousands of pounds, get themselves in debt and go and get a job in the NHS earning less than what somebody would have done for doing something completely different. Education without ambition is like a car with no wheels. You ain't gonna go anywhere, yeah? If you, I don't care what degree you got, I don't care what letters you've got before and after your name that makes your name look like an algebraic Ross Clark equation. I don't give a fuck, blood. If you are not ambitious once you've got that high level degree, then you might as well not have gone to university. There are plenty of people with master's degrees working some bullshit job, like Ladbrook's Betfred or fucking whatever in it, you're doing some bullshit job. Do you know why? Because they're not that ambitious. A lot of people say, ah, oh, business and economics is a shit degree, it's a shit degree. Do you know what it is? It could possibly be that it's a shit degree, but I know one of my brothers, yeah? He earns £500 a day. He has that shit degree that everybody else has, yeah? Business, economics and that. And he's only £500 a day. Do you know why? Because he's ambitious, blood. So, yeah, maybe some degrees are shit. Maybe some people got these crazy high qualifications and that. But you know what? If you're not ambitious, it doesn't fucking matter, blood. You may as well not have the degree, blood. Friend. As time goes on, 
people won't go to university and spend all that money yeah. on a degree that they're not going to use. The reason why university is there is an option to be able to expand your horizons and your opportunities in order to enable you to get a better yeah, job. I, I agree come out with of that. uni and applied for 76 jobs and I did not get an interview for one. I months. can believe that and I and I agree that as it is university should be paid for for every yeah. year like it was after the war. Pensioners should stay off the roads. The reason why pensioners should stay off the road <laughs> is because I feel like driving test. Yeah, for real, for real. A day a day are a hazard, man. I see pensioners and other shit drivers approaching a roundabout where you can see what's to your left, what's straight in front, and what's to your right. And they still approach the roundabout and damn near stop. For what? The giveaway line at the roundabout does not mean um, stop, you know. The giveaway, giveaway line at the roundabout means be prepared to stop and give way. But if there's nothing around, why the fuck are you stopping? Oh, so some of these drivers, not just old people, some of them, the, the uh, normal like age people, they piss me off with their driving as well, man in your era was you get in the car, you do a bit of driving and you pass your test. There's been no retest from that. When I did my driving test in 2022, right, I had to know the ins and outs, the upside downs of the cars, the tread depth, the theory side of it. And since I passed my test, <laughs> I see too many pensioners on the road pulling over. And one of my <laughs> main things is that I've seen a woman on a roundabout, an old lady, bless her soul, and she went the wrong way around the roundabout. Well, you were saying and the news today, there were lots more reports, but not necessarily pensioners, of people going the wrong way on motorway. So I yeah. think, I don't think it's necessarily pensioners because there are plenty of boy racers or girl racers or whatever who... Um, go too fast these days on the yeah. roads and they're dangerous, but yeah. why not introduce just like an annual profession test? Yeah, and I definitely agree, I think. No, 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 that, 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 that is too frequent. Not an annual one, every 10 years or so. The old they, particularly when you get to a certain age. Gen Z can't save money because they're too impulsive. There you go. Oh, that's <laughs> a hard one. Not... Yeah, she knows it's true. That's why it's a hard one. Yeah, they are too impulsive. They just spend money like they're idiots. Gonna lie. <laughs> I myself am really impulsive. Ta-da! I knew it. This is the same girl that's complaining that she can't get on a property ladder and that. But I'm telling you, she just spends money. Yeah, she don't save. Let's see. I want to know what sort of car she's driving. With my spending, but I don't speak for the whole of Gen Z. I just think that there's a lot of pressures around saving money due to financial issues, but then also due to like social media, things like that. So we live in an age of materialism. So the pressures for you growing up, nobody had a 30,000 pound Rolex watch. No one was driving around in this latest sports car. We now live in an era where looks. It's because you're a sheep. It's because you are a weak minded person. You look at social media and you see people living a better lifestyle than you and it makes you feel inadequate. I'm not saying that if you look at social media, yeah, you shouldn't think, you know what, yeah, if this person can achieve it, then I can. That's the sort of mindset you should have. But these weak energy people, these low self-esteem people will watch other people on social media, see them living a better lifestyle and that, and feel like they're a piece of shit, blood. That's your own problem. That's, a, that's an intrinsic problem that you have. Because I don't think like that. I see guys on social media with bust down watch, what they call it, kettle, I am pots and pans, whatever you want to fucking call these stupid ass watches and that. And I don't feel no way. I see guys on social media with the latest cars and that. Bad cars, yeah? I, I like cars and that. But it don't make me feel a certain way. I'm like, yeah, when my time is right, when the time is right, I'll get that. I, I don't feel like, right, that's it, I'm gonna, nah, 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 nah. My car is fucked right now. The passenger side window don't go up properly. The handbrake is fucked. The clutch is always squeaked. The steering wheel, the like the, the material around the steering wheel, that's coming off. What, what else is wrong with the car? The, the wheel arch and that ain't got the fucking guard on it. The car is fucked. I still have no pressure to, to buy a new car. Now, my MOT is coming up soon and it's probably gonna fail because the window don't go up. 
So I'm thinking, I don't think it's worth me putting the money in to repair the window, but I'll see anyway. I might phone Auto Glass and see if they can repair the window. We'll see. But if it's going to cost me like £500 to repair the window, then I'm not going to pay the £500. Oh, the aircon has never worked in my car, ever. It, it's never worked since I got the car. I think I had the car like, hmm, it's 2023 right now. Let's say I got the car in 2009 uh, 2018 so i've had the car about five years um it's never worked i got it repaired one time within a week it stopped working so uh yeah i'm gonna see if the oil glass people can repair the car the window and how you look is more important than your actual assets i would see it as just a waste of money and definitely not a priority you might want it and i agree you might want it, i do agree but, but you I, can't afford it that's no, what you said i do think that it is easy for you to say in your generation where there was no pressures in order for you to have the latest watch the latest car the latest hairdo the latest lip no, filler no there were just the There's pressures to have pressure. enough enough money just exactly. to, to, to live exactly. to eat but then that's the, then, the, we wouldn't have thought of, of luxuries like that but we wouldn't entertain the thought of them because we, we knew we couldn't afford them would you not slightly think oh i maybe need to jump on the trend because if not then i'm going to look broke i'm going to look thing is well no. then that I means drive that we're Skoda, from a completely so different I'm so stop worrying about the opinions of others this is what keeps people broke if everyone had my mentality fuck everyone's opinion everyone would have money saved everyone would have money saved but you're worried about your neighbor. You're worried about keeping up with your neighbor. You're worried about what your friends and family are gonna think. Fuck their opinion, blood. Fuck them. You think, do you think I would be in the position that I'm in right now, going on man's podcast, spreading out the spreading the word to the youth them, the youth them coming to me for advice if I cared about my family's opinion. If I cared about my family's opinion, do you think I would have jumped on YouTube to be in this position right now to be dropping these gems, blood? I don't give a fuck about my family's opinion, blood. I don't care. I don't care. They can all drop me out. I don't business, yeah? I live for me and nobody else. I live for me and I live for my children, yeah? I ain't got no kids right now, but that's how a man think. I don't business about no family or friend's opinion. They will get dropped out. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. They are not coming to save me, yeah? The only person that can save me is me. So therefore, I only care about my opinion. I'm not bothered about what it looks I like. Know that and I have this not... conversation with my daughter and she's know... got an Audi and why do you need an Audi? Young people are too obsessed with their phones and don't live in the real world. It's like it's attached to them. They didn't want to put it down. It's like, you know, put it in your locker or turn it off and put it under there. And they physically can't do it, yeah. which is so sad. Fuck. This man interrupted my fucking Parcel. Yeah. Because, well, well, somebody might ring or somebody like that. Well, they know you're at work. So why? And really, you're not doing that anyway. You're just, you know, surfing your socials. But then that shows that there's actually a wider issue and that it's not a choice. I genuinely do feel like phones are an addiction. We were the first generation to actually be introduced to social media. We live in a digital world now, mm. as, as scary as it is, but I think that's why it's a lot harder for us to accustom ourselves to and a lot easier for you I do to agree say. With you. I do agree with you on that. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot harder. We need to get rid of the royal family. It's outdated and unnecessary. I agree. I agree. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <That's a laughs> I mean, I don't give a fuck about the royal family. They do nothing for me. They do nothing to me. They do nothing for me. Like, this is what I'm saying, yeah? Like, people need to just kind of worry about themselves and that. Because the royal family ain't disturbing no one. Yeah? <laughs> like, I don't care if the royal family exists. I don't care if they don't. Like, you know what I'm saying, innit? Like, I don't know.
Do scene, that one please. then. <laughs> people think they know these people. People look up to these people, but they're not different to anybody no, else. No, and I think that it's just outdated in so terms of. Well, people don't. We don't bring any like people say. Oh, they bring people money through tourism. Bring, yeah, they, they bring think, tourism, but I think we would get that anyway. I don't think that they bring tourism at all. No, no, I think because plenty more things. They could still be there, but mm. just look after themselves, pay for themselves. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah, in that aspect, yeah, to be fair, I'm not saying get rid of them, but, like, nah, they need to, like, yo, make your own fucking money, innit, yeah? Um, that money could go to a lot bit better of, uh, places than the royal family, so. Do you feel like this has been hashed out? Yeah, I do. It's been really thought-provoking, and yeah. it has really made me see things from a, a different point of view. Yeah, Things that I wouldn't normally have questioned. Yeah. Um, what about you? I think that it's been, like you said, super thought-provoking mm. in the essence that we've kind of come together as people from completely different generations. Yeah, very different. And kind of put the world to right. Yes. And agreed on some points and disagreed on others. No, I do think it has been hashed out. Yep, so do I. I think that went really well. I think that we both had opposing points in places, but I do think that we was able to kind of come together. It was thought-provoking. There was a lot of food for thought there. The only thing that I would say surprised me about what she said was about the car. But you don't have to have a car or a Rolex watch, even though those might be nice to have. It was framed as though it's kind of like an entitlement, but I just feel like as basic necessities have increased with time, I do feel as though a car is necessary with all of the increased things in the world of cost. I just feel like it's more efficient to have a car. If that makes us lazy, it makes us lazy. <laughs> I think that's a bullshit excuse, man. I'm not saying don't have a car. I'm just saying buy yourself a little cheap car, a little cheap banger. But I know she ain't driving no little cheap banger. I can tell she probably likes nice things. You know what I'm trying to say? Like... <laughs> I'll take with the... Uh, for another chat, yeah, to talk about different things. I think we'd have lots more things to talk about. I definitely would sit down and have a chat with her again because I think that it's always nice to grasp a different perspective. They need to get me on this blood, yeah? You know what, yeah, they need to put me on... Uh, does the Big Brother show still go? I need to go on that. We're in a cost of living crisis. There's a lot of landlords that can't afford... So this is the episode that I'm looking for. Right, cool. I want to know when it comes out. To have tenants but don't pay them any rent. Do you have the answers to everything in the world? Everything should just be free. Who's gonna pay? I think people should not be homeless. Sure, and people shouldn't be sick either. And isn't it a shame that people die? Tenants, but don't pay them any rent. Do you have the answers to everything in the world? Everything should just be free. Who's gonna pay? I think people should not be homeless. Sure, and people shouldn't be sick either. And isn't it a shame that people die? Right, I just moved myself because I wanted to see if they had like any dates or times when the video's coming out. I can't wait for that video. This is the reason why I came to this channel in the first place, to look for that video. Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Yeah, right. I finally got through that video. That video there is about 8 or 10 minutes long. This video is about 28 minutes long. Actually, to be fair, I went to the door quickly and that, innit? But basically, man spent more time talking and reacting to this video than the video itself, yeah? But anyway, man, that's it for today, man. This is what you lot come for, innit? Stay wise. Ton, though.